It turns out that many people at altitude, as we've discussed when we talked about AMS, have trouble sleeping. One of the things that keeps people from sleeping well at altitude is something called periodic breathing. We used to call it chain stoking, but I think it sounded too much like chain smoking. So periodic breathing. And what that means is that people, when they're not thinking about their breathing, for example, during rest or when they're sleeping, their, the amplitude of their ventilation will just tail off and they'll have these apneic periods. In sleep studies on climbers, some of these apneic, meaning no breathing at all, periods can last for up to a minute, which is pretty amazing. Periodic breathing can be a big problem for climbers or people spending time at altitude, and a good proportion of people at moderate to extreme altitude will start to periodic breathe. The biggest problem is you often wake up feeling like you're starving for air. A lot of people assume they have pulmonary edema, which we'll talk about later when they develop periodic breathing because they wake up feeling really air hungry just because they haven't been breathing for a period of time. So one of the best treatments for periodic breathing is a drug that we'll talk about a lot and that's acetazolamide or Diamox. Very small doses of Diamox that you can get from your doctor. And when I say small doses I mean half of a half of a tab. So about 62.5 milligrams which is half of a half is enough when taken after dinner or before bedtime to sort of knock out periodic breathing. And patients tend to report much better sleep, especially if the problem is periodic breathing when they're on small doses of Diamox. Some doctors, maybe new to the expedition world, will hear that a patient or a climber, trekker, is not sleeping well at altitude. And the first thing they think of is sleeping medication. Many sleeping medications are sedative hypnotics. They may help you sleep, but they also depress your ventilation. So if you're going to use a sleeping pill, you should use one of the current generation sleeping pills like Zolpidem, which is Ambien, something like that, which tends not to depress ventilation. But better yet is, if the person's not sleeping because they're hypoxemic, their oxygen's low because they're not breathing, why don't you give them Diamox? It knocks out their periodic breathing. They'll breathe more while they're sleeping. Their oxygen levels will be higher and they'll sleep like babies. Maybe not like babies, but better.